Everybody, football protocol. One of the first things uh, you want to do with your uh, well water is uh, is have it tested. Now, in the area I live in, uh, there's a uh, propagation of uh, saltwater intrusion. I live on the Gulf Coast, and uh, that would be the first thing you need to test for. And I didn't find any type of uh, uh, test kits for the saltwater intrusion, so I had to take it to a a uh, local lab that, that tests the uh, city's water and uh, check it for salt water or sodium content and uh, the EPA suggests that uh, the limit would be 20 milligrams per liter of uh, so sodium uh, in your water so uh, I had mine tested and it was uh, 18 milligrams so I'm, I'm in the safe zone so I got lucky there uh, that that test by itself cost me sixty bucks, and so once I found out that the it don't have a salt water, a harmful salt water content, uh, I could actually drink this water. But before I drink it, I, I'm I would I would also filter it also. Uh, but other thing I want to do is check it for uh, for bacteria, lead, pesticides nitrates and, and, and nitrites, uh, total chlorine, pH and hardness. So what I did, I did some uh, research on the internet and found this and uh, I got this on eBay. This is four test kits. I can test four different water samples with it for these uh, different contaminants in the water. And this was right at, it was 50 bucks and that was including the shipping and uh, what we're going to do is I'm going I'm to go ahead and test uh, the water in my well and I'll show you uh, how, I, how I did it. So let's go ahead and get started. You can test four different times with this kit. So that's four different water sources uh, for all these different contaminants. And uh, this first test is uh, this little vial right here. It's for bacteria. Uh, what you do is you fill it up to this five, I don't know if you can see it. This uh, look about a half inch below uh, the top, which is five milliliters. And uh, what you do is you set it uh, in a room uh, temperature at between 70 and 90 degrees, and let it sit for 48 hours. And what's going to happen if uh, if it comes up negative, uh, the vial will be purple. And if it comes up positive for bacteria, it's, it's going to be yellow. So that's a 48-hour test. See, and the uh, next test is going to be uh, this one's for pesticides and lead. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, there's a couple of vials in here or a vial in here, and you put your test strips in it. And uh, there's a chart that you look at, and it'll tell you exactly uh, if it's below the limit. This test strip is the same thing. You just put it, dunk it in the water, and uh, what you do is they've got a chart here. Tells you what if it's below the ppm, which is parts per million, uh, for uh, nitrates and nitrites. Just a test strip, and the last one's going to be your uh, total uh, chlorine and hardness strips. So. Very simple, straightforward. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and do the testing. 
Okay, this first test is uh, for the bacteria. And all we're going to do is, is uh, take this little vial, open it up. It's got some kind of powder in it. I don't know if that's to activate activate the bacteria or what. But then we're going to fill it almost up to the top. And we're going to put the lid back on it. And it says, uh, shake the hell out of it. About 20 seconds. I think it's going to be good enough. And what all you're going to do is you're going to let this, you can see right now it's purple. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a purplish tint to it. Now I'm going to let this sit for two days. And if it turns yellow, we do have a bacteria problem with the well, and uh, it won't be suitable for drinking. All right, now we're going to go to the next test. All right, this next test is going to be for uh, pesticides and lead. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your water sample. You've got this little vial. And you've got two strips. One's for the yellow one's for the lead. And the blue one's for the pesticide. What we're going to do is take, you squeeze this, pick up your sample, it says put two of them in there, and it says swirl it around. Now you're going to take the strips. There's an arrow on the strips. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it straight down into the into the water. Same thing with the pesticides. Kind of swirl it around a little bit, and you said it's supposed to wait uh, ten minutes. So we'll come back to that. All right, the next test is going to be for nitrates and nitrites, which is going to be any fertilizers that might have leached into the well. And all we're going to do is take this test strip and we're going to uh, dunk it in there just for a couple seconds and pull it out and we're going to let it sit for a minute. And what we'll do is we'll match it up on this chart and it'll tell you uh, uh, what your PPM is on it. So we'll let that sit for a minute and uh, give you the results. Next test we're going to do is going to be for uh, for pH, uh, hardness, and uh, chlorine. So basically all you do is just dunk that in, take it out, and match it up. You're going to match I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a color on the bottom of this one too. What you're going to do is match these up. It looks like the total hardness is very high. It's 425, 7. Well, it's 8.5 on the pH, and uh, chlorine is zero. We'll look over here on our chart. Uh, let's see, it was 425 on the hardness, and that's going to tell you that we are way high on hardness. Uh, the chlorine is zero, so I ain't going to worry about any chlorine, and the pH. Looks like it's going to be 8.5. So, and it shows here 6.5 to 8.5 is good. So, basically, we're looking we're pretty good shape on that, those tests. Uh, so, our uh, hardness is a little high or quite high, but uh, I'm really not concerned about that. So, we'll get back to these other uh, test results. Uh, be right back. 
Okay, we got the uh, test results for the nitrates and the nitrites, which is going to be uh, your fertilizers. And I believe I believe we're zero on that, so that's that's good too. I got uh, just a few more minutes here on my uh, on my lead test. And this is going to be the result. Negative. Uh, when I pull these out, they're going to have two lines on them. Uh, so what we want it is that line to be closer to this one than the two. A positive will show it uh, over here on the on the number two side, that blue line. So it'd be darker on that side. So we'll we'll check it here in just a few minutes. Okay, uh, we've let these sit, uh, this test strip sit for 10 minutes, like it said. So we're going to pull them out. And we're going to look at the chart. And we want the blue line to be closer to the one than in the twos. So let's. Take a look. I don't know if y'all can see that. Looks like we're in good shape. No lead or no pesticides in it. That's great. So we're looking good. Looking so good so far on all of our tests. Uh, we've got one test left. And, uh, that's going to be for a bacteria test, and that's going to be uh, uh, 48 hours on it. So uh, we'll be back in uh, two days. Or since we've uh, done the test for the bacteria, and we started out our vial when we first put the water in was purple, and purple is the color that it should be if it's negative for bacteria, and yellow if it's uh, positive as you can see it's kind of looks like P it's yellow so I kind of figured that because uh, what I've read uh, about shallow wells is that uh, it, it catches all the groundwater and it's going to have bacteria in it so that, that's really not a problem because uh, what I'm going to do uh, if I have to have to use this well for drinking water is uh, I'm going to go ahead and filter it through my homemade filtering system you know the two five gallon buckets and you put the, the water in the top and it's got the ceramic filter in it and it filters it filters out of there into the, the bottom bucket and that's what it catches and once you get it in the bottom bucket uh, uh, we got a tap on it for drinking and actually what you would do, uh, five, a half a teaspoon of uh, bleach per five gallon bucket. So that would kill all the bacteria in it. But actually this, this ceramic filter that's in it, this Dalton, uh, it's supposed to reduce harmful bacteria, E. coli and such 99.99% uh, so you probably wouldn't even have to put the bleach in it. But I, I would probably still put the bleach in it just to be sure. But. Uh, Anyhow, that's that was my test results. So I, I think the kit's well worth it. You could use the kit for for actually uh, testing your your water, your city water, or your uh, your your well water. So <clears throat> it's kind of inexpensive. It, you know, it's what uh, twelve dollars and fifty cents a, a test. You get four tests with it, and I pay fifty bucks for it. So I think it would be well worth uh, testing your regular tap water. But uh, I, I thought y'all be interested in something in this. And uh, as for this this filtering system, I've got another video on my channel. If you want to check it out, uh, it, it's on there. So anyhow, appreciate you, and uh, see you later.
say 